Welcome to the Daily Vlog. Dr. David Dyser here. I am a naturopathic doctor and the medical director at DamiHealth.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you love holistic health and well-being, this is the show for you. Uh, please subscribe. We're going to be doing many more videos like this one. Yesterday on the vlog, we spoke about blue light therapy and how in Vancouver here in the winter it's so dark. Um, and people start to get a little bit of low mood, they, their sleep starts to be, become disrupted. For myself, I tend to sleep longer. Um, for many people, that uh, sleeping longer can occur, but also low energy during the day is extremely common. But especially uh, low mood with low energy is extremely common. So we see low mood, low energy, um, feeling foggy brain, and we, feel, we see insomnia. Uh, significantly in the winter here in Vancouver. So we love blue light therapy for those for those different uh, symptom presentations. Today on the show we're talking about vitamin D because with the sun leaving us for the next six to seven months, uh, we also experience low vitamin D levels here in this city in the winter. And because we are such a healthy city in general and the two communities that I spend most of my time in are some of the healthiest communities in the country, um, we see in our clinic a lot of people taking super, super high doses of vitamin D. You're probably familiar with vitamin D as the, the nutrient we get from the sun. When the sun hits our skin, we're able to uh, create vitamin D. Uh, that mechanism is shut down when the system has enough. So we cannot overdose on vitamin D from the sun. But we can overdose on vitamin D from our diet um, and from our supplemental intake. It's very difficult to overdo it on diet, but it's easy to overdo it using supplements because they come in the form of droppers, uh, liquid droppers, and it's very easy to take too much. So we like to test vitamin D levels. Here's why. When you take too much vitamin D, well, first of all, vitamin D is stored in the tissues. It's fat-soluble vitamin. You store it in your fat. When you take too much, it can raise your calcium levels in the blood. Vitamin D is, plays a significant role in calcium homeostasis. It keeps the calcium levels in the blood, uh, helps to keep calcium levels in the blood at a certain level. If you take too much, calcium levels in the blood can rise. It's called hypercalcemia. So hypervitamin Diosis, uh, the main symptom or the main sign of hypervitamin Diosis is hypercalcemia. It doesn't always happen, but it could. When calcium goes high in the blood, it's quite risky for the kidneys. It's hard on the heart, but it's really risky for the kidneys um, and it's not great for the bone. When you take too much calcium or too much vitamin D, excuse me, the calcium resorption in the bone is increased to a level that's not great for the bone. So. Um, when you take too much vitamin D, it's hard to know if you're experiencing this effect because there's likely not any symptoms involved. So it's important to test vitamin D levels when you're taking extremely high doses. The reason for testing, we've had some people take extremely high doses in this clinic and then test and have their blood levels be completely normal. We've also had some people take moderately high doses and we've seen their blood levels come back extremely high and we've seen their calcium high in their blood. So it all depends on the person and how that person uh, stores vitamin D. Some people just don't store it as well as others. So the level in the blood does not go up as much. So it's really patient dependent. This is why it's important when you're dosing vitamin D if you're a practitioner or if you're taking vitamin D as a person, it's important to have your levels checked, especially if you're taking over that three, 5,000 IU mark. Um, it, it's really important to get assessed. Now, uh, in, in our province here, uh, the assessment is a pay-only assessment to have your blood level checked for vitamin D. We still recommend it if you're in that patient list who really needs lots and lots of vitamin D, it's important to have your levels checked. So really what happens on the lab work, aside from high vitamin D levels, if you're storing it really, really well and you're taking lots, is this high calcium. Symptom-wise, the only things we really see, this incre increased potential for kidney stones can can eventually end in a kidney stone, and that's a terribly painful experience. Um, and sometimes you can see calcium oxalates in the urine, so you can, you can do a test for that. We also see sometimes nausea and vomiting. The only thing I've seen clinically with hypervitamin diosis has been digestive upset. We've seen nausea and vomiting, and with that, uh, 
because of the patient history we had, we were able to run a vitamin D test and see that it was in the vitamin Dosis, hypervitamin Dosis category. It was tox vitamin D toxicity. So it can happen. The only symptom picture we normally see is nausea and vomiting. There is this theoretical symptom presentation of bone pain. So you can have deep bone pain. It's a diff difficult one to use it as an assessment tool. But if you if you see if someone's taking you know over 20,000 IU per day and they have um, you know they're feeling some nausea and and maybe no vomiting, but they've got a bit of deep pain, then it's possible that the that there is high vitamin D uh, present and then potentially uh, hypercalcemia. The other potential causes of hypercalcemia, if if you know you've run labs yourself or you've gotten some lab work back or if you're a practitioner you've run labs for a person and you've seen hypercalcemia the other potentials are hyperparathyroidism and malignancy those are the only real the, the really other options on the list so it's an easy workup really with a parathyroid test and a vitamin D test um, to to do a differential on that one presentation hypercalcemia but usually you know if it is high vitamin D, the person is taking extremely high levels. Sometimes, like I said, it's only above that 5,000 IU mark. So important to uh, be assessed. In Canada here, Health Canada wants everyone who is an adult taking 1,000 IU vitamin D per day. Very often that is enough. But in Vancouver and places like Vancouver where it's so dark for such a long period of time, Often we need more vitamin D than the 1000 IU, but that is something to check in with your personal primary care provider before attempting. Uh, so that's vitamin D in a nutshell and hypervitamin Dosis. The potential is hypercalcemia. The symptoms are nausea, vomiting, and deep bone pain. The consequences of hypercalcemia are kidney stones and of course having too much calcium in the blood is just not good for you. It's bad for the heart, bad for the cardiovascular system in general. Thanks so much for watching. This is the Damien Vlog. Uh, we will be doing more holistic health and wellness videos coming up, uh, more inf informational videos. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and um, looking forward to doing more videos for you in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.